All right, let's go on out to the superstar himself. Mr. Rudy, how are you, sir? Hey, Mark, we're going to put that up on the uh, website and uh, people can enjoy it over and over again. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the pre-PR brought to you by Bill Howe. Why? Because they know how. Uh, just quickly, we mentioned uh, a sophomore playing for uh, Cathedral Catholic. It's 61-19 in the JV game. Sophomore Tano Latui went off big for Cathedral. Let's hope uh, the varsity game is closer. It's not foreshadowing. No. Let's hope it's not foreshadowing. Uh, you want to send it to somebody? Let's send it up north to Maddie Sinclair. Hi, Madison. Madison Sinclair is frozen in time. The one time I get to send it out. And well, it maybe it was. Frozen. Maybe you had something to do with it. Let, let's talk a little bit about the, what's going on. Uh, 61-19, Cathedral Catholic looks, you know, because both programs are quality programs, yeah. and you'd think they both have a lot of young players coming up through the pipeline. Uh, how concerning is it if your <laughs> JV team gets whomped by 50 points before your varsity teams take to the field? I think it's a little concerning. I think we're in new territory here. You know, we're used to seeing the top 10 in the county matchups for game of the week. This one has a top 10 national team in it, so we've never had that before. So I don't. I really don't know what to expect. Again, I said I thought Cathedral could pull the upset if anybody could. This is a JV game, and I've never seen this many people with this kind of energy even in a JV game. I know. And I think they're, they're, uh, uh, Damon Chase was in uh, on our 445 segment, and he was talking about how the school, unfortunately, is doing some renovations to their seating here. Dur and it's happening during the football season, not the best time. Uh, but you know, when you're used to be part of the uh, school system, you know. Yeah, yeah, everything's, the bureaucracy. everything's made. So the, 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 po the fact is, there's this many people for traveling from Cathedral to see the JV game. Imagine what the there's not there's not going to be enough people, uh, enough seats here for all the people are going to be. At the, the no, and then the problem is, then they start to mingle over to that side, and then they go back and forth, and then it becomes trouble sometimes. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Well, we should mention a year ago, these two teams played uh, at Manchester Stadium. It was a nine-point game uh, dominated by two rushing performances. Sean Poma has since moved on for Cathedral. Not that uh, they miss him much with Debbie Watson uh, now taking the, the bulk of the, the carries. But Elia Noah, ranked by KUSI as the number one player in the county. If Helix is to win this game tonight. How many yards does Elian Noah have to have in his rush total? I think he had about 250 last year, and they still ended up losing by about 10. Cathedral's a lot better team this year. Um, it's going to have to be in the 300 area. Did you hear that? Maddie has since been unfrozen. Madison, see, that, sh got, that serves you right for teasing me about calling the truck a car, and look what happened. Your live shot got frozen. <laughs> now you have limited time. Do your best. That's only... You get mad at me for calling it a car, so that's why I had to do it back. All right, well, we are out here at Carlsbad High School, and I I want to quickly promote a story that we're going to do on Monday. This girl right here, Malia Pane, is she, you wouldn't know it by looking at her, but she is down, she is on a university team. It's her first year, and I just want to hear quickly from Julia about, kind of tell me a little bit about Malia. Uh, Malia is an awesome supporter of our team. She's out here with us at every single home game. It's super amazing to have her with us, and we couldn't be more proud. We're going to have a whole story on Monday. and just so Her brother used to play out here for four years, Duke Pane, and now he's at the Naval Academy. You know, you just have all the ties out here. We're going to have the full story on Monday. I just wanted to promote it. These girls are what helps this football team out here. They help them. They decorate their lockers throughout the day, promote them. So... We'll have more. We're going to have more. We're going to interview them, so we're going to post it online as well. I'm going to send it back, I think, to Paul. All right, Madison, Sinclair. Uh, oh, yeah, we hope uh, you can work out the technical gremlins, and we'll see you in a little bit in the 6 p.m. sports world. Just a quick reminder, we had Elias Noah, dad, on, and we will have his son, Elion, tonight, regardless of what happens here at the football field. He'll be our Chick-fil-A top athlete. We're going to talk more about his rushing record here at the school. We are done for now. Important commercial words coming your way. Three, two, one.